There's so much to know, so many people to meet, so much adventure awaits. What are you waiting for? Hey y'all, I'm Jamie Doris, Miss Congeniality. Join me each week as we make connections, face fears, and share love, all while being totally fabulous. There's no topic off limits, no story too bold. Together, we'll try it all. Prepare to be surprised with me, Jamie Doris. I am Miss Congeniality. Hey y'all, and welcome to Miss Congeniality. I'm your host, Jamie Doris, and today, guess what we're doing? We're going charter fishing here on the beautiful Gulf of Mexico. Now we're riding with my husband, Captain Joel Doris of Good Old Boys Charters on the Good Old Girl. And in today's show, we're gonna be learning all about fishing, the good, the bad, and the yummy. And we're gonna experience what it's like not knowing what's gonna happen. I have to go to the restroom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This episode is part of the Embrace the Gulf 2020 campaign, which is all about promoting community, tourism, the economy, education, and the environment of our beautiful Gulf of Mexico. Remember, we only have one Earth, and it's up to us to take care of it. But first, a word from our sponsors. The Gulf of Mexico is more than just a body of water, it's our livelihood, and 2020 is the year to embrace it. The Embrace the Gulf 2020 campaign is all about promoting community, tourism, economy, education, and environment of our beautiful Gulf and the states that border it. Find out what you can do today to embrace the Gulf your way. Visit embracethegulf.org. We are with my husband. This is great. Uh, Joel Doris, he's a captain here at Good Old Boys Charter. Now, we just got out here. So where all are we trying to go today? We are trying to go to all the spots where the fish are biting. Do they have names? That's exactly where we want to go. <laughs> the rest of the places, we do not care about those places. Okay. But we'll probably have to go through some of those also. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of different names. There's Ela Pete, there's Door Point, there's Martin Island. Um, I could keep going on, but it's all basically these outer islands in the uh, in the Louisiana marsh right here. You know, it, it's interesting because he knows all of these spots right out here. And I guess, is this part of the Barrier Islands in Mississippi or this is Louisiana, you said? This is Louisiana, that's right. So it's not Mississippi Barrier Islands. But it's like all these like marsh spots and only fishermen know all the names. I mean, I've lived here my whole life and I know nothing about this area. That's why I laugh because you're asking me where we're going and it will mean nothing to you. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. We got on the boat and of course my hair looked all good. My makeup looked all good. And within three minutes, I'm soaking wet and I'm like screaming and going, ah, and he's laughing. Why were you laughing? Because it's funny. Because you're funny. You scream louder than everybody. Really? Uh -huh. Did you expect that? It's kind of like it's kind of like going on an amusement ride with you, a roller coaster or something. You're the loud one. This is the old uh, conservation camp right here, and uh, this is where I hear they're catching. What are we What are we fishing for? Speckled trout and redfish. Trap. I love redfish. Do I actually have to fish? You don't have to. Really? You gonna fish yeah. for me? Yeah, I'll fish for you. Y'all, I love. You'll still fish. eat. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody on the charter is gonna be interviewed. That's the way this rolls. Well, that's how you hook him. See, you can't hardly see the hook. No, you can't. But it's right there, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna touch him. So you'll do you that for me. No, I don't want to touch him. I don't want to touch the bait. <laughs> Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. How long do people do this? Like all day? Come on, fishy, fishy. I don't want to be a one man band. So, how long do you stay at a spot before you say there's nothing here? Well, we're covering ground for okay. one thing. So, we're not necessarily in a spot. But the rule of thumb is five casts. 
Oh, I've done more than five. If we are anchored and we got five casts and we got no bite, move. Time to go. It's oh. time to go. Well, baby, I've casted like 20 times. Well, but we're moving. Okay. You see, there's pockets of fish. Well, we gonna find them so pockets. So you just troll around and you find the little pocket of fish. That why, that's why when you asked where we were fishing, I said where the fish are. He's gotta find them. Poor thing, he has to deal with me all the time. There we go. Oh, He's a oh, little guy. Oh, 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 we got, what we got? Trout. What, what, what? what is that? What is it, baby? Speckled trout. Is it big enough? No, ma'am. He's a little guy. So what's I think he was looking for a date. <laughs> so what's the, the limit or like the size requirement? 12 inches in Louisiana. Do you see this little thing right here? That's called a trolling motor. And I only know that because my husband loves this thing. It's this tiny little motor that goes in the water and like goes and it's very quiet so it doesn't disturb the fish and it makes the boat move slowly. Isn't that right, honey? That's right. <laughs> this is not as easy as it looks. All right, I'm gonna go the other way. Okay. All right, we fishing. I think that's why I like fishing the most. It's why? It's not as easy as it looks. Yeah, I've seen some neat, neat stuff out here to come to one of these islands and fish. There's like a coyote there. A coyote? Just a little bitty island out here. Way out here. How he would get there, I have no idea. How he would stay alive. There was no vegetation or trees or anything. I'd show up early in the morning and he'd come out and meet me at the shore. <laughs> I've seen sea turtles out here. I've seen all kind of neat stuff. I have to go to the restroom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> right as my cork's going under. <laughs> so there you go. You can hide up in there somewhere and... I, and do my, and, and, uh -huh. my deal. Okay. And do you think? Wow. Hang on to Excuse it, Excuse me. I'm going to... We'll turn up the Hang on to so what? That... I think I might need some That's help under here. Too. He's turning up the radio. <laughs> Tell me about your biggest fish you've ever caught. Oh, a big fish. I caught a hammerhead shark one time and it was 11 feet long. Wow. 11 feet? 11 feet. Where'd you catch that? In the Gulf of Mexico. It's your day here at Michael Vincent Salon. Whether you come in for a cut and color or a manicure and massage, we want you to feel relaxed. We are trendy, light, friendly, and downtown. Our clients become our friends. Come as you are, leave as a star. Michael Vincent Salon, Highway 49, downtown Gulfport. Okay, all so right, what's all this going see on? see these birds, huh? Yeah. There are fish under those birds, I promise. We're gonna ease up over there and catch them. We're gonna get a fish here. I know it. They slow I me down. It. it ate my bait. It took my little shrimp. You bait Ooh, those birds are liking it over there. You see how happy they are? They only do that for french fries and shrimp. That didn't even get anybody's laugh. I laugh. Y'all put some stuff out there. I'm, I'm trying. Right, dot, I'm dot, 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 dot. <gasps> Ooh! He's caught three already! Oh, sorry. I thought I felt something. <laughs> Artificial, hold up, I gotta catch this. Yeah. See? Talking to y'all, missing fish. <laughs> Put that in the boat. Oh, oh, oh. We I put got the catfish a big, on him. not so big catfish. Oh, it felt so big. Well, you still got shrimp. Thank you, baby. 
That was fun. Is this why people do this? That's why people do this. <sighs> I'm gonna start calling you that at home. Captain Doris. That works. Trip, please. <laughs> What's up? So they call you Papa. Yeah, that's me. Pop oh my God, you got Papa on your arm. Yeah. yeah. I love it when they call me Big Papa. <laughs> that's me. How long you been fishing? Man, my whole life. I was a kid, maybe like six, seven years old. I used to ride my bike to the beach, all the way down by the Silver Slipper from Bay St. Louis. This is before they had a casino down there, though. And Bayou Caddy. I go fishing by myself. Cast nets and everything. What is your biggest, most proudest catch? <laughs> alligator. <laughs> you catch an alligator? <laughs> I catch them all. I used to catch them all the time. So, Papa, what is the secret to fishing? Fishing has no secret. It's bait. I'm finding fish because fish eat anything you put in the water. Really. They um sometimes you catch them with squid, sometimes you catch them with shrimp, sometimes you catch them with cut bait. A lot of people, Joel, he use he use um artificial bait. I ain't never caught I ain't never in my life caught a fish in artificial bait. But I got a tackle box full of them like I do. <laughs> 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 so you met my husband in first, second grade, first, something like that? Yep, yeah, grade school, first grade. First grade? First grade, yeah. What was he like in first grade? I don't remember. I just remember. You know, we was all the same, you know. Everybody was the same in first grade. That's before, that's before you got personality, you know. And, and really, that's, that's, that's what start friendships when you meet people that long ago. I remember in the sixth grade, he, he let me call the anarchy sign on his arm. The anarchy sign? Yeah, Joe did. <laughs> <laughs> was in the sixth grade. <laughs> you carved an anarchy sign on Joel's arm. Yeah, deep too. It was bleeding. Like, I put it in there. I'm surprised it ain't still there. <laughs> the things you learn on a boat. <laughs> oh, bro. Right? <laughs> Stay tuned for more Miss Congeniality. The islands mean everything to me. They've been part of my family for almost 100 years. My grandfather started transporting passengers out to the island in the late 1920s. My father took over in the 1950s. I took over in the 1980s. And now I have my sons working in the business now, transporting probably about 50,000 people a year out to the Mississippi Barrier Islands. And we're talking about Ship Island specifically in Fort Massachusetts. The last undeveloped barrier islands in the country, part of Gulf Islands National Seashore. The first clear green water east of New Orleans. Spurting, shelling, dolphin activity, all kinds of great uh, activity as far as fishing and beachcombing. Let's talk about something that women don't want to talk about, and that is incontinence. We at the Woman's Clinic have a simple procedure that we can do to take care of that. We use the Fatona laser. Um, it's a simple procedure. You have tightening. You have enhanced lubrication. Um, sex isn't painful anymore, and you don't have that leakage that you deal with on a daily basis. Come see us at the Woman's Clinic in Gulfport. We're right by Gulfport Memorial Hospital. Oh my word, look at the pelicans. I've never seen so many pelicans on the coast. It's like a pelican sanctuary out here. Babe, does this place have a name? Brush Island. What? Brush Island. Okay, well I now call this Pelican Point. <laughs> AKA Brush Island. Okay. <laughs> Is Mike mic'd up? Yeah. Mike has a mic. Are you, are you fishing or are you just is interviewing? My, is my hair okay? I really want to catch a fish. I want you to catch a fish. Yeah. Especially with your new nickname today that you have, the Greenie Weenie. <laughs> I like my outfit. Do you know, everyone kept asking me if I was going to wear a dress yeah. out on the boat. And you I could. was like, no, I'm going to be the Greenie Weenie. <laughs> nah, he named a, me that. The dress would have been good too. So how do you know Captain Doris? Uh, Captain Doris did the electrical work on my new house in 2007. So you've known him, a, you've known him longer than I've known him. 13 years. Wow. I'm flying. Yeah. So what is the best thing you've ever caught? When I, gr I grew up in Connecticut, so. Really? We You're went, from we Connecticut? Did, that's right. Oh, so cool. flounder and uh, whenever you were catching flounder, you'd kind of catch a skate or a shark or an eel on accident. 
and uh, so that was kind of fun growing up. But ever since I've lived here, I haven't done a whole lot of fishing. So you're too busy being nice professional. To I'm too busy, you know, being a dad and working and everything like that. I guess, but. Um, yeah, I brought special drinks for the girls. You want me to get one? For the girls? What yeah. kind of drinks do you have for the girls? You want me to get one? Yeah, I want okay. you to get one. And uh, it's the Lime and Prickly Pear Cactus Ultra. That looks good. There you go. So, oh, yeah. can you open it for me? I got nails. I, I don't have nails. Oh. I put a little dent right here all the time because it helps you grip it. Ooh. And when I had roommates a long, long time ago, uh, what, the other roommate, his dent was here and the other roommate, his dent was here. So when we picked up our can, we knew if we had the wrong can in our hand or not. Brilliant. It's a good, it's a good tip, really. Absolutely genius. Yeah. The, things, the just, things you learn on a memory. boat, right? As, soon as you pick it up, you're like, that's not my beer. <laughs> Do you know by the dent? Here you go. All right. I drink, you fish. Okay. I don't know if that's a good deal, but it seems like just as long as I catch one, it's a good Infused deal. Infused with real exotic fruit. Yeah. Lime and prickly pear, because I'm so prickly, baby, over here on <laughs> Pelican Point. <laughs> There's a lot of peas. Your little shrimpy's coming off. Oh, goodness. Do you need some help? Right, here, let me, of that. Mm, let me are help you, you with are this. Are you going to do it? Mm, okay, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, see, I've gotten good. Yeah. See? Mm -hmm. Don't tell Captain Doris that I'll do this. Okay. Okay, He's not go. looking, don't he, worry. Yeah, he doesn't need to know that, because yeah. I tell him I can't do anything. Yeah. Okay, there you okay. go. Okay, that's good. <laughs> That's good. That's my secret. Yeah. I, see, I was going to wear that same outfit this morning. I'm glad I didn't. Otherwise, uh, that would have looked silly. <laughs> we would have been <laughs> greeny weeny twinkies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike, so what okay. are your fishing tips? I, you know, my fishing tips mm -hmm. is to go with somebody that knows a lot about fishing and where the fish are, and then you'll catch fish. Now, as far as charters go, what would you say is the biggest tip or something that somebody needs to know if they're going out on a charter for the first time? Uh, just go with people that you uh, can spend an entire day with without getting annoyed. Oh, yeah. that's a good tip. Yeah. That's a great tip because you're going to hang out, you're going to learn all sorts of things about everybody, and then everyone's going to have to have their bathroom breaks and yeah. all that stuff. You oh, yeah. better like the person or yeah. people. Yeah, make sure you have plenty to eat, plenty to drink. Make sure you bring sunscreen. Because, uh, yeah, that's important. Hats. 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 Oh. I just still can't get over all of those birds. Yeah. Oh. Plastic bags! Does your kitchen look like this? Mine does. And y'all, this is just six months worth of shopping. I mean, there's grocery store bags, and there's vegetable bags, and there's probably clothing bags all up in here. And I don't know about you, but what do you do with these bags? Do you know that there is 5.25 trillion pieces of plastic in the ocean today? Every piece of plastic that has ever been created is still here on this earth and it all ends up in the ocean. Just check out this picture, y'all. This is a picture of a whale. Whales are popping up like this all over the world. Whales and other wildlife are doing what we don't want them to do. They're eating the plastic that we're done with. So, as it pertains to you and me, is when we get these plastic bags, what are we doing with them? Um, I like to recycle them. I take them to my local Walmart because Walmart does have a recycle bin there. Uh, and I think other stores do the same. But something else you can do is just reduce the number of these bags that you get. Use fewer of them or use the reusable bags that you can get and take to the store and use over and over and over again. At the end of the day, we only have one earth, y'all. And it's up to us to take care of it. Whee! Bags! Plastic! Oh. <laughs> Oops. Are the hot dogs ready? Of course they're ready. Ah! They're hot and ready. Ooh, they're hot and ready. They're you're are, just, you're the king dogs. of jokes, aren't you? They're not just dogs, they're hot dogs. Ooh, ooh, ooh look at that. Yes. I'm so hungry. Do we have plates? We have buns. We have buns, buns are good too. Okay, so I need a hot dog for me and a hot dog for Papa. I feel like I'm ordering. 
Uh, okay. I need uh, one That'd hot be... dog with mustard and one hot dog with mayonnaise. That'll be 350. Okay, uh, mm, here's some salt. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> okay, I got this going. All right, what we got? Serve it up, baby. Serve it up. Mm, barbecue on a boat. Isn't this the coolest thing? Oh, oh. you need to dose? I need dose, yeah. Boom. I didn't even know you could have like barbecue on a boat. But it's so cool. Okay, a little more on that one. I like a lot of mustard. This is totally for me. And this one is for Papa. It needs, what do you like on your hot dog? Just mayonnaise? Just mayonnaise on this one. Just mayonnaise. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna serve it up. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know how much he likes, so we'll go with, yeah, with that. go with that. No, let's do a little more. He seems like a little more kind of guy. Okay. Here you go. Is that enough mayonnaise for you? Yes, ma'am. That's great. That's good. All right, so you just caught yourself a croaker. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Why have we not caught anything yet? They're just not biting. They're just not biting. Ain't nothing wrong. They eat, they eat, and they, sometimes they don't. When they fall, they won't eat. You never know. So it's normal to come out here I and I've never been not, out here. You've never been out here no, ever. But it's normal to go fishing and not catch yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. You know, okay, well, that's how you learn patience. Patience, okay. Well, yeah. we got patience. We have been up since <laughs> 4 o'clock this morning. What time is it now? I'm talking about real patience, not extra rose patience. Anybody know? <laughs> 1 o'clock? It's 1 o'clock now, so we have been up since 4 o'clock this morning. Yep. It's 1 o'clock now. We have gotten wet. We'll probably have sunburn. We're eating on a grill. Mm -hmm. We've been chatting. Yep. We've been laughing, we've been singing, we've yep. been carrying on. We've a great ass time. We have been having a really good time. And we've caught fish, but they've all been too small yep. to keep. Which right. is cool. I'm glad they have regulations on sizes, you know. Right. Yeah. They gotta grow up. They do, they, they gotta grow up so you can eat them. Right. That's right. Cut your hands Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> what's coming up next? Hamburgers on the grill. Let's check it out. How do you think today's gone so far? Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> You're soaking wet. We caught a bunch of little fish. Uh huh. I mean, the little fish are everywhere. The big fish, they're hiding. We're gonna keep looking for them. Okay. Got a couple more spots. Okay. Nice lunch. Nice ambiance. Nice crew. Is there anything I can do to help us get more fish? Um, smile real pretty. Fish like that. Sparkly stuff. They do sparkly stuff, see? Something just not sparkly enough. Clearly well, the, the greeny of... weenie beanie or whatever I am over here isn't, isn't sparkly enough. You look like a deep sea fish is the thing. You don't look like a speckled trout. Oh, I wore the wrong outfit. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. We just needed something to blame it on. Okay. I think we just found it. Okay. Okay. You know, that's fishing though. Yeah. I mean, that's really, that's really it is that, uh, I mean, the truth of it is, is that I love this because it's difficult. It's not easy. I, I, I have never hunted, but this is it. This is my hunter element. My dad was a hunter out in West Texas and, uh, I'm a hunter also. I'm hunting. The smell lured me back over here. It did. <laughs> But if the smell wouldn't have been here, I'd still be out there fishing. All right. That's fair. <laughs> what is the one thing you do to protect our environment? Well, uh, we, we live in Portland, Oregon for more than 10 years. And something that if we go to Walmart or Albertson or any store, it's so much plastic bags. That means that we, we carry our grocery shopping bags and we use it all the time. Uh, if I need to buy peppers or potatoes, something. I just carry everything. I don't use the small bags to put in another plastic bag. I don't get it. It's like a, uh, everything's gonna go to the ocean. Look like a million bucks without spending it. Here at Back on the Rack, we sell only the brands that you trust. Jade, Carly, Chanel, Dolce & Gabbana, Tibby, Kate Spade, Louis Vuitton, and more. Back on the Rack, Upscale Resale.
We buy and sell across the U.S. and you can shop right on Facebook. It's luxury consignment for the stylish woman. She wore an itsy bitsy greeny weeny blue polka dot bikini. That's what she wore for the charter that day. An itsy bitsy greeny weeny blue polka dot bikini. And in the water they wanted to stay. <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back. We are at the very end of this wonderful charter episode and you are now meeting a fabulous lady behind the scenes. This is Jesse Heron. And Jesse, I guess you have a little um, prize for me. Yes, I brought her a Victoria's Secret daiquiri from the Daiquiri Shack in Old Town Bay, St. Louis. It kind of melted though because someone forgot to put it in the ice chest and that wasn't me this time. Okay, well, you know what? That <laughs> happens on charters. You guys, you never see her because she is behind the scenes of Miss Congeniality. She takes mm -hmm. the pictures for a lot of the stuff on social media. She makes sure my lipstick looks good. What else do you do behind the scenes? I make sure all the scripts are taken care of. I make sure everybody has their releases. I mean, I'm pretty much a do-it-all kind of gal at this point. <laughs> and we call her the songbird because every time somebody says a word, she'll come up with a song, which she's the one who wrote the lyrics to that song that we just sang. So we've been out fishing all day, but you're not a newbie to fishing. You've been fishing your whole life. What is your mm, like most memorable fishing story? Mm, I'd have to say that my most memorable fishing story was whenever I was about five years old. Keep in mind, I was a little girl and I had hair down to my butt, like probably oh, past wow. my butt. Well, I was so excited because I caught a fish on my pole and it was one of the first ones that I ever caught. And I'm just a reeling and reeling and reeling and reeling. And next thing you know, my hair was all the way <gasps> in the reel, caught all the way up oh, to no. my scalp. Like it went from down here to up here and it was all twisted in and it was a hot mess. My dad probably spent about 30 minutes or so trying to get my hair out without having to cut my hair because I was all like, you're not cutting my hair. Oh no. Even at five years old, I was like, you're not cutting my hair. But did you catch the fish? Yes, I caught the fish. What kind of fish was it? If I had to, I don't remember now, but if I had to guess, it was some sort of trout because my dad was big into speckled trout back then. So either way, I caught my fish. I kept my hair. It was a good day, but I remember just reeling it all the way up to my scalp. And it's even my dad's favorite story to tell from I never we were kids. And on that note, I just want to say thank you for all of the help you've done on the show. You're thank fabulous. You. We couldn't have done it without you. I try. I try so hard. And you do a great job. Thank you so much. And this is the end of the show. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miss Congeniality Charter Style. Remember to love yourself, be yourself, boom. And let's make this world a more beautiful place. Until next time, I am Miss Congeniality. Mm -hmm.